Hey everyone, Presito here. So I've been getting a lot of questions lately about how to use the Stamp Wallet, which is the new wallet that's come out that supports SRC20 transfers. So in this video, I'm going to be covering exactly how to use a wallet, how to install it, and they even implemented a trade feature, which is really, really awesome, which I'm going to be telling you guys about and about how to use that specifically. So obviously the first question you guys might have is, is it safe to use? And obviously, as you know, in crypto, that's very subjective, but this dev is very well known in the community. He's done some amazing work for SRC 20s in general, and I've used the wallet and it's really flawless. And I must say, I'm very impressed with uh, what he's done. Obviously, as it even says here, only keep a small amount in the wallet. As you know, in crypto, uh, you never know. So just put in what you uh, can afford to lose. And uh, that's the best way to go about it. And as the wallet stands the test of time, then people trust it more, of course, as it is with everything. And people start using it more and more. So that's just what I recommend from a safety perspective. Always rather be safe than sorry. So let's start up with how do you install the wallet? The first step. So you want to go to the stampwallet.com. I'll leave all the links in the description of the video so you can click those and make sure it's the legit links. Obviously always be very careful with that and double check. So what you're going to do is you click here by download where it says click here to download. It'll download a zip file. Then you'll extract that to anywhere you want. Once it's extracted, you'll want to go to your Chrome extensions. So you go here, you can just type that in or click on your Chrome extensions and go there. Then you click on developer mode. So you want to enable that. Then click on load unpacked and choose the folder. And once you've selected the folder, just click OK and it will pop up here. Make sure this is ticked blue and then click update. And once you've done that, you will see the stamp wallet pop up in your extensions like you can see mine over here. So that will be popped up and ready to go. Then secondly, if you have already downloaded the stamp wallet first version of it and you want to download the new version, which has the trading feature enabled, simply click here to download again, extract and replace the current folder, then go back here and click update and then you'll have the updated version. So it's really straightforward like that. So next step is importing your either hero or free wallet into the stamp wallet. So how are you going to do that? It's really simple as well. It says it on the website for free wallet. I guess most people will actually be using hero, but if you are using free wallet, you need to create a wallet, not using the free wallet info, click account icon, click add account, import private key, which you get from the free wallet setting page. And then you select legacy mode. So that's how you import from free wallet. If you want to import from Hero, it's as simple as just typing in your 12 word uh, secret seed phrase, which you hopefully saved if you installed Hero Wallet. I'm sure you guys have, and then just import that and everything will populate in your the stamp wallet. And uh, I did it myself and it worked flawlessly. So everything is perfect with that. Also keep in mind, it's not an ordinal or BRC20 wallet. So don't do anything with uh, ordinals with this wallet. It's only for SRC 20s. So this is how it will look like to import your hero seed phrase. You click continue. It will tell you to set up a password, put whatever you want, and then this will come up. So you'll have your wallet, your balance. If you import it, you'll see all your balances. I'm not on my main wallet, of course, but you can create extra accounts. So if you go here, you can create extra accounts, but I'll go through everything so you can understand exactly how to maneuver through the wallet and use it. So firstly, let's just get this out of the way. Send and receive Bitcoin. Simple as that. If you want to send Bitcoin, you click here. If you want to receive Bitcoin, you click here and copy uh, your address. So that's that. Let's go to the SRC20 section now. Firstly, under balances, you'll see a list of everything you have. So for example, Kevin, and I'll say how much you have, 420,000. And under activity, it'll show all your last transactions. So if we click on SRC20, first up, we have send, which speaks for itself. You click here, recipient, you paste the Bitcoin address of the recipient then the token you type in whatever it is or token case insensitive so just type in kevin but i always just put it in caps anyway always safe and sorry amount however much you want and the fee rate you put in whatever uh, fee you want to pay obviously the higher the quicker the transaction and send i've used this quite a few times already for my giveaways i've done and it works perfectly then you can also mint src 20s here again you put in the, the recipient address token how much and very simple for that as well. 
deploy. You can also deploy SRC20 token where you put in all the information over here. Again, recipient token, the limit and the max. Then we have the trading feature, which is really awesome. It was just implemented and I think it's going to really gain a lot of traction. First up, if you want to buy, you simply click on buy. You can see everything that's listed at the moment and you can sort by ticker. So let's see. I just want to see what Kevin is for sale. So update with just what Kevin is for sale. It'll show the token, obviously Kevin, and how much of it is for sale and the current price for that much. So you can see here, let's have a look which one looks like a fair price. I mean, this one uh, looks really fair. That puts one mint at 0.1 Bitcoin. He has also one mint at 0.1 Bitcoin. So let's say I wanted to buy this one mint of Kevin for 0.1 Bitcoin. You scroll over, it tells you also the unit price, which is cool. And you can actually see all of these are the same price. So they're all fair in terms of that. So action, we click buy. So here it's auto populated. So you don't have to, well, you can't even if you want to do, you can just set the fee rate, which you can set a bit higher just to make it quicker. And you click send and done. You've bought that Kevin. So it's actually really impressive and straightforward. I almost prefer it to other marketplaces since you're always using this wallet anyways. And if this is incorporated into it, that's just amazing. And you can see a stamp as well. Here you can see 10,000 stamp for, for that much. You can see the price it's at. So you can see which ones are a good deal. So let's say we had to buy this one, for example, again, same thing, just click buy and you got it. So what if you want to sell? So when we go to sell, it'll tell you here, you can list your SRC20, your token, you can type in whatever you want. Let's say I want to sell Kevin. So how much Kevin? Let's say 120,000. And here I can put the price in Bitcoin. So I'll put 0.1, for example. I personally wouldn't sell at 0 0.1. I think it'll moon, but price in Bitcoin 0 0.1. I'm going to put that. And then fee rate, let's say, well, it says recommended is 34. Let's say I just put 40 just in case. And then you click list and done. So obviously I can't list because I don't have any of it, but that's how you list and sell SRC 20s. Then you can also go to my listings and see everything that's listed over here. And you can see action, status, unit price, token and amount. So if you have multiple listings, maybe you become a SRC 20 whale one day, you've got too many to remember. You just go here and you can sort through it. You can even sort by the ticker. So yeah, that's how you use the wallet. That pretty much um, covers this page. Then if we go over here, open a new tab basically, basically makes you maneuver it in a tab like this and just not at the top right, like extension. If you click on accounts, you can see all your accounts and add an account. Network, live net, of course, and you get test net, but there's no point to use that. Here you can click reveal your passphrase, which I will not be clicking on. Then new wallet, lock and support. So I recommend you guys to join their Telegram, as I said on their website, the stamp wallet support. If you need any help with anything else that I didn't cover in this video, then you'll be able to check that out uh, over there. They're really helpful and the dev himself replies to everyone. So definitely recommend you guys to join that. Uh, really worthwhile. So overall, this wallet, I think is super pro. I mean, I've been using it and it's so smooth and I just love it. And I think it's really going to pick up a lot of traction. And also what's really cool is if you go to stampscan.xyz forward slash trade, or you just go to sign and click on trade here at the top, you can see all the recent trades that took place in the wallet. And here you can see, for example, the ticker, Kevin, you can see that 420,000 Kevin just sold for 0.1 Bitcoin. Shows you here the unit price, the transaction ID, where if you click on it, it takes you to the mempool and the exact time and date that the transaction took place on. And this is all for the trade feature in the wallet that I showed you. So you can see everything here. And I think that's just really, really cool. So hopefully this video helped you guys and helped you understand how to use the wallet and maneuver it. If it did, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I always appreciate that. Follow me on Twitter as well. Enjoy my Telegram since we're always talking about uh, SRC 20s and Bitcoin ecosystem in general. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.